air fried meatloaf tonight for supper. Air fried venison and pork meatloaf tonight for supper. And the Wise Turbo Air Fryer with the rotisserie function, but I'm not using the rotisserie for obvious reasons. Now you could use regular hamburger or ground meat of your choice, but my neighbor happened to give me this. This is three pounds because I weighed it and it was frozen, but I thought it out. Venison and pork, 50-50 mix. Should be good. If you don't like it, pretend it's hamburger, okay? If I made it and gave it to you and called it a hamburger, you wouldn't know the difference, but it's gonna be meatloaf. Come here. Okay, about three pounds here, like I said. One egg. Six cloves of garlic that I cut up already so you didn't have to suffer through watching me chop. But it smells good. Some oregano leaves, or whatever spice you like. You can make this with less hamburger too, one pound or two pounds. It's gonna be different in the air fryer. We got a big button up there. You know what that means? What? I'm gonna bake it in there. And we got breadcrumbs. Now you could use anything else. Some people use oatmeal, some people use Fritos, some people use other stuff. Now I'm gonna put my clean hands in there, mix it around so it's a little cold. And if I need a little more of this, my camera person's gonna put it in for me. Ain't ya? Mm hmm. Shh. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. I should have a big bowl. You always say that. Alright, mix this up a little bit. Can you see? Don't worry about that little bit of mess. Yeah, I need some more of that, don't I? You think or not? Yeah, let's put some more. Shh. Moron? Mm -hmm. Who's a moron? Moron. All right, too much. Oh no, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, it feels like a donut. No, it's all right. You in there? Can you see me in there? See your hands. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Should have had a bigger bowl or a flat kind of thing to do this on. Just pretend it's one big meatball. Well, it's gonna be good. I know that. Know it. You can tell by the texturity of it. Texturity. <laughs> Text. <laughs> Text critter. Don't tell me you don't like this meat either. Oh, you can if you want. Go ahead. You didn't do it right. I don't do that. That's okay. You can make it all your own way. You can put ketchup in here like some people do. We put sauce in here, cheese. What else? Hmm. Sausage. Ooh, yeah. Could put cheese right in there. Chunks of cheese. All right. All right. This is the good consistency that I want. See. Just like a big meatball. Look at the garlic coming out. You can put onions and peppers in there. Remember? You can do that. I hope you can see. All right. Oh, it's gonna be great. All right. Okay. Let me. Uh, Rinse my hands off, wash them off, and start, set this go wise up. Come on. Here we go. Here we go, go wise. Open it up. Now, I thought about this for a little while. We have a rack. Don't talk back. High rack and a low rack. We have a pizza pan with my accessory kit. I'm going to, I was going to put it in the pan, and then I thought, hmm, it might build up juices that I want out of there. Right? So I'm gonna put the pan in the bottom, and put the meatloaf on a rack. Don't talk back. And it's gonna be good, watch. I know it is. Or I could put it in a pie tin and poke holes in it like I did in the pressure cooker one time and let the the extra grease or whatever. Oh, this, although this is really lean, right? Because he made sure he, he got a lean deer. No, it's lean, it's a lean mix with that pork in there too. That makes any sense to anybody okay finish forming this up you don't want no big cracks in there but whatever happens it's gonna be good i know what it is oh yeah I'll push bake button bake can't stop playing with it 
You don't want it too, too incredibly high, but you want to fit it in here nicely. You don't want it too thin. Too thick, too thin, too thick, too thin. I should put it down on paper, shouldn't I? Should I like bar parchment paper or something like that? Shouldn't I put it on paper or something like that? You know what I'm trying to say. I'm put, on, put on a piece of paper or a parchment paper or something like that. Look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, I know I'm going to get in your way now. Here. We want these cracks closed up so we don't split or splat. See it? Don't worry about it, okay? Look. See what I made, Ma? And I help. Nice. Look at that. See it? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, put it in the rack. We'll talk back. Did I tell you that already? Look at that. Meat cake. Could be cake, could be meat. Meat cake. Put it in there. Get rid of that. Close the lid, come up and look at it. You see it already. We'll dress some meat. Sorry. Sorry, dress some meat. What day is this? Monday, I hope. Is it Monday? Mm -hmm. Shh. Just nod. <laughs> nod at me when I'm talking to you, boy. All right, see? Got the pizza paint underneath to catch some stuff. And to keep this extra clean. Got the rack in high position. Guess I could put it in low position too, couldn't I? Anyway, all right, so I'm pushing bake, and I'm gonna see how it works in bake. Bake mold for 350, like everything you bake is over 350, why? Mm -hmm. Let's see if bake automatically goes to 350. Picture of cupcake up there. Ain't that neat? Watch, 360, what do you think? Uh, 340, 360. 360, or, mm, we're gonna try 30, 35 minutes, or thereabouts. 35. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. Watch. One, two, three. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna keep monitoring it. We'd like the internal temperature to be 165 at the end. I do believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm okay again. Okay, I made it thinner. No, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Stop it. And at the end, I'll put <laughs> something on it, like melted cheese, of course, and maybe some a little bit of sauce or sauce. All right, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, there's 13 min 14 minutes remaining, and it smells real good. I'm looking at it through the window, and I want to show it to you. Look. Ah, oh, looking real good, huh? Yeah. I wonder if I should take temperature in there. Anyway. Let me close it back up till I find my thermometer. Mm. There you go. Got my internal meat thermometer. Ooh, a little crunchy on top. Let's see. 86. Can you see it? 80. All right, we're gonna go more. Oh yeah, it's heavy in the middle. 116. Ooh, it's better in the middle. Ooh, 116. 98, let's move around, see? All right, continue. 108. All right, continue. And soon I'm gonna put some sauce and cheese on top, but not towards, till towards the end, okay? All right, timer stopped, timer started. Keep going. I decided I'm gonna turn it over. What do you think of that? Why, because it's getting nice and crunchy on top, and I'm not sure about the bottom, so I'm gonna turn it over like a big hamburger. Ah, yeah. See? Ah, I should have had a big bone for that one, huh? All right, this is going to ensure that it's going to cook thoroughly through. You understand me? You understand me? All right, I flipped it over. You see me. We're spatula. Just to get it done evenly. The top is nice and crunchy. I lowered the temperature a little bit for this side. It's going to be good. We still got nine minutes left. Look at that. Oh, boy. Can't wait. Should've got a big bun, huh? Makes me hammer at that. Yeah. All right, that time's up again. And uh, I'm gonna take the temperature. Is that crunchy now on the bottom? See, look. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. 160. All right, 67, 68. All right, I'm gonna flip it over because I like that other side better. 
flip it back over. I know normally you wouldn't do this with meatloaf, but how often do you air fry a meatloaf? Hmm? Again, this should have been just a big hamburger. Or it should have been. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Yeah. It's juicy inside too. And look, there's hardly anything down in that pan below. Because this was a lean meat, remember? Okay, finishing touch. Add a little rummagean or spaghetti sauce. Okay. Now I could have put that on earlier, but it would have burned up and, you know, went away. I'll put it on right at the end here. Like you didn't know that, right? And I'm going to turn it back on just long enough to, well, the delicious cheese I'm putting on there. I just learned my words because I'm hungry again. Again, again, again. This is pepper jack cheese. Look at it. The air is going to blow my cheese around. Let's hope not. Hmm. Okay. Like it so far? Hmm? I do. Close the lid. What I want to do now? Um, bake yet? I don't know. Just, all right, but I'll just stop in five minutes. Let's see what happens in there. Okay. Come on, just a little more. A little more heat in there. Ooh. It ain't going nowhere. See it? It stayed. Because it's bake mode. Look in there today. Oh, there you go. Look in there. Mm, big pizza burger. Gonna be good. Can't wait. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. That's perfect. Perfect. Now, let me get it out again. I'm gonna put on extra fancy dish. It's a real dish today. If I would have thought about this, I would have got myself a real big bun. Because I did eat a five pound hamburger already. Although this is three pounds and it's not a hamburger. Meatloaf. Careful now. I should use that. I need a bigger spatula. I need a big metal spatula. Spatula number one. Oh, oh boy. Close the lid. Unplug it. All right, I'm gonna cut it now. I'm gonna put it on a medium fancy plate for me to eat, okay? You know it's gonna be good, don't you? How should I cut it? I should have a bigger knife, shouldn't I? Oh. Look at this, it's juicy in there. Moist. And there's hardly anything in the bottom pan there. Hardly any. This would be nice on a sandwich or on a plate with mashed potatoes and peas and corn, whatever you got. But today, right now, hungry as I am, I'm just gonna eat me a big slice. And tomorrow, I know I'm gonna have this one leftover. Toast! <laughs> Did you see it yet? Getting there. Look. Mm, can you see it? Mm. Any kind of ground meat you want, you can make that out of turkey. Ground beef, everyone's favorite. And this that my neighbor Mike gave me. He's a good neighbor, I like him. He's a little older than me. There's people out there older than me. Just a little bit though, he's nice. Anyway, half venison and half pork. Let's take a bite. I'm so excited for it. Oh, it's so firm. That's a great meatloaf. Oh, I smell the garlic. Uh, you gonna make one in the air fryer? Hmm? You got an air fryer? I actually want some, huh, Rocks? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perfect texture. Delicious flavor. You don't need a napkin. I ain't gonna throw it at you.
How long did I take? I forget. About oh. well, 35 minutes at first, and then I put it in for. I flipped it over another 10 or 12, and then five for the cheese and melt. Just keep an eye on it. And you don't have to flip it over, but I did. Mm -hmm. If you make one with two pounds, it's going to be a little smaller than this. Just do what you want to do. Oh, so good. All right. Okay, another delicious success in the Go Wise USA Turbo Air Fryer. If you don't got one, you can get one by tomorrow from Amazon down there. Get it here in time for somebody's gift because you know they want one. Or you want one. See, I see something I get it for myself. <laughs> All right, I got to keep eating. Why are you looking at me like that? She's looking at me like that. Stop looking at me like that. All right. I'm always trying to be honest. You want it? You deserve it, right? I deserved it. Thank you. All right, let me finish eating this. Roxy needs some. Have a nice night. Please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Oh, wait a minute. Talk to you soon. Ah. All right, have a nice day.